Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the TarotEmpress.com. So I've shuffled your cards and laid them out and we can begin. The very first card that is getting my attention is the card that is in the overall theme position. It's basically a reverse court card. Now, this particular energy is telling me that there's a buildup of this energy that is coming from the situation. This could be revolving around resentment. It could be someone not being able to let go of something, right? So it's not really a pleasant energy. In fact, I'm going to clarify it now. Okay, so the card I'm getting is one that shows someone walking away, right? That's the first energy. Perhaps someone is walking away feeling a sense of resentment or feeling a sense of unhappiness over what has happened so far in this specific situation. And, you know, that's, that's telling a lot. It feels like the energies have sort of been challenging you because this is another court card in reverse position. It's showing to me that some of you have either gotten exhausted or tired of what has been happening between you and this individual concerned. I'm definitely getting the impression, right, that in this situation, the two of you have been through a lot. These two particular cards, when they show up, they definitely have the indication of someone that is going into a very dark place and not wanting to deal with certain things that have been arising in this situation. It's also showing to me that you may have reached your breaking point when it comes to uh, this relationship with this individual, right? It might feel as if, you know, you can't take it anymore. You don't know what to do. You've put in so much of your energy, your effort, everything that you have to offer in a relationship and it just feels like you know you are on one side of the situation feeling you know like you can't take it anymore it feels like you're going through a lot of emotional sort of moods mood swings etc there's a lot of feelings that you're experiencing and you know you feel like you don't know how to deal with this so I feel like uh, the energies are showing to me that uh, when it comes to emotions, you don't really have control over them right now. A part of you could be feeling really annoyed, perhaps even uh, angry at this situation, angry at um, things that are happening in your love life and wanting to uh, take it out on people just because you feel like, you know, you don't know what to do anymore. It feels like this energy of... Um, not being able to cope with the situation. Some of you could be definitely feeling uh, very, very, you know, frustrated. There's a, this uh, energy which is revolving around someone being very cold and distant, but not very nice at the same time. That's what I'm picking up from the energies. So I feel like the situation has been going back and forth for some time. And, you know, you've been hoping for things to turn around. But I also feel like from the energies that, um, you know, you want to see change. And if you don't start seeing change, you're going to give up on the hope of getting back together with this individual. That's what I'm picking up from those cards alone. Let's look at the next energy. Okay, so I feel like someone is sort of staring at the situation but um, struggling to see reason in a very complicated uh, set of circumstances. 
because they still love you or there could be new love coming into your life as well, right? But you might not be giving that an opportunity because you're still very invested into this other person that you were involved with, whomever that is, because, you know, when the energy of resentment comes up and the energy of feeling very uh, sort of um, cold and indifferent and feeling like you're very annoyed at a situation, it's obviously related to a relationship with a history, right? It's obviously related to a situation that uh, you've been dealing with for some time. And I feel like a lot of you are feeling that, annoyance inside of your energy where you can't take it anymore now there could be new love on the horizon but this might be something that you are not giving much consideration right now so just uh, you know start to pay attention to the people coming into your life what purpose do they serve this card itself is showing to me you aren't giving um, anybody else the time of the day I feel like you're not really paying attention to that because your heart mind and soul has been so fixated on this yeah, I feel like from your energy, you're holding on very tightly to this individual that you've been dealing with, but you're not getting anything out of it. It feels like you're not getting the type of love or attention or what you want from this uh, individual right now, and that's making things more difficult for you. Okay, so let's look at the next card. I feel like you were more free in the past. You were more able to do what you wanted to do in this specific situation. There's definitely that indication from the cards that you had more freedom to explore your feelings. You had more freedom to explore your emotions. And, um, you know, this energy is showing to me that it's hard. It's hard to deal with these emotions because you keep going back to the situation you keep looking into their life you keep you know either spying or someone is looking into this other person's life if if this is something that you're not doing right now it could be this individual doing it to you so just be aware of the fact that this could be uh, the energy of vice versa so be aware of that right so let's look at the situation your fear here is that things are going to be over your fear here is that you're not going to be able to move on from this other individual, right? So there's something inside of someone's energy right now that is forcing one individual to feel obsessive. Let's look at this card in the past position. The card in the past position is talking about someone not really doing anything to change the situation around. It left both of you feeling um, like there was no sort of peace. Now, for those of you that are stuck in complicated situations, it could also mean that you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for things to change, you know, and it hasn't been changing. So... I feel like you were not feeling at peace in the situation. Now, let's look at the next card. I feel like you haven't been able to feel a sense of happiness or if someone else came into your life, there's a very high possibility that you weren't doing anything to give it uh, the attention that uh, it uh, wanted. I feel like you didn't want to uh, look into that, right? You might have been brushing off... Uh, potential suitors or people that were interested in you. So that's something that's uh, really, really interesting to me because I feel like it, this has been a very hard and difficult process. Let's see. You want to connect to this individual. I feel like the energies here is that, you know, you're not willing to settle for anybody else. It feels like you had a great deal of happiness with this individual and it fulfilled a vision of what you were looking for in a person or partner. And um, it's either that or nothing. That's what I'm picking up from the cards. Another energy I'm seeing here from the situation is, you know, someone fighting off communication or fighting the impulse to communicate. Someone is uh, holding back or not wanting to give in to their emotions, even though communication is uh, incredibly important. 
at this point of time. So there's a need to address this, right? So I feel like there's a lot that is going on. There's this very obsessive energy. I'm going to be exploring the balance of these cards on an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. For those of you that are unaware, there are yearly tarot card readings available as well as speciality readings, namely what do they want from you and what are they hiding from you. Links are in the description box below. There's also a free video reading that is uh, focused on the predictions for February 2020. You can find the video, you know, in uh, my channel. Have a wonderful day and take care.